But we're so sad in our hearts because we know that she will never ever grow up to call us daddy and mommy. My name is Melissa. I'm 36 this year. Hi, I'm Kong Han. I'm 39 this year. In 2011, I was pregnant with my first child. Okay, and that was after we were, I was married with my husband for two years. Okay, and, and we were really excited because it was our first child after a long wait. But 11 weeks into the pregnancy, unfortunately, it, it ended. Okay, we were very devastated. But thankfully, um, we were greeted again with good news in about six months. Okay, and this time around, we were very careful, it being our second pregnancy. And, and after what has happened, we really practiced caution. And as the weeks went by, we were filled with so much anticipation, awaiting to hold that bundle of joy in our hands. And her, her estimated due date was 19 December 2012. And it was on the 17th December, we felt that there was no heartbeat. And when we first heard the news from the nurse, we were just so devastated. Because just last week, we heard her heartbeat. What the doctor told me was he could not Despite her being healthy, he could not detect the root cause of what caused her death. And, and furthermore, prior to this, um, there was no pain or no symptoms that I exhibited that could point towards this. Our hearts was in pain because we could hear the cries of babies everywhere around us. She was so beautiful. And next day, she had a memorial service and she was buried. A year later, I was very frustrated because I was still feeling the pain of the loss and I, I remember that I got angry myself and all that but at one point, there was just a revelation that, that um, feelings are just an indicator of how your heart is doing so do not be afraid of feeling grief again but just allow yourself to journey it through time. Well, in June 2013, I found out that I was pregnant my heart was overwhelmed with joy, though still scared that history might repeat itself. And today, we are blessed with two sons, Noah and Jaira, and we are currently expecting one more child too.